What's going on YouTube and welcome back to where you turn and playthrough. If you haven't already, check out the other episodes in this series. Catch up where we are in the story. And make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. Let's get right back into it. So we've already completed potions. We've completed the Emporium. So we have two stamps. Uh, let's see where we want to go next. We have Divination, Conjuration, and Dark Arts. Let's complete this uh, courtyard first. And then we'll do Divination last. Let's do Conjuration. Let's try that one. See what happens. So, Conjuration is taught here? Outdoors? Usually. Who's the teach? Fuck! Can you stop doing that? Welcome to Conjuration, the most elite, challenging, and prestigious subject in all of Warthogs. I assume you're here to earn my stamp. Yes. What's the challenge? Ah, straight to the point, huh? I like it. You see, since the inception, the School of Conjuration is thanked for raising of dead, summoning of creatures, and the countless other unique abilities. The lessons taught here have made our skill one of the most powerful in the game. Because of that, my challenge must be one that is worthy of the Conjuration name. In order to obtain the stamp, you must defeat another team of wizards in single combat. What? Like a duel? Well, that's just great. Chalked me up for a loss already because I've never used any Conjuration spell before. No worries, Penelope. It's not as hard as you think. All you have to do is recite the spell... Anyone can use the incantation, but the more knowledge you have, and the more practice... Oh, the more you practice it, the stronger you, your summoned creature will be. Ugh, we'll try. It's totally normal if you don't summon anything the first time. In fact, most people can't. When I started, I couldn't even summon a rabbit for several weeks, so you'll probably end up empty-handed also. Thank you, Luna. You sure know how to encourage someone. It will be my first time as well, Penny, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. We just came to learn the basics and have some fun after all. Yeah, that's true. We didn't even know about the tournament until we got here. So, now we wait for another team of three? Lucky for you, Morvolo, Melton, and Jade have already been waiting, and they're ready to fight for the stamp. Another team is here? Fucking finally! Did they say it was their first time? This would be a piece of cake. We were waiting for almost ten whole minutes. Now my spellcasting armor is all stiff. Okay, students, gather your things, and let's go to the dual overpass. There's no time to waste. The dual overpass is at the top of the wall. I'll gi it'll give you some tips on the way there. Cool. Ooh, fight on the bridge. Uh, right now. Let's give it up for our first duel. Remember, it is forbidden to attack the wizard directly, so focus all your actions on your opponent's creature only. Our one, ma our one match per team member... The overall winning team will get the stamp. For our first participant, I'd like to introduce you to Jade, one of the Warthog's most gifted students. She's sitting at a very respectable level 19. And next up we have Penelope. You said you're level 1, right, sweetie? Uh-huh. Excellent. Don't worry, Penny. You've got this. Remember to recite the incantation clearly, enunciate every letter, and try to keep your mind clear. You can do it, Jade. Be better if she doesn't win against a level one first time player. I'm gonna die of laughter. Are you ready, eat dust, bitch? Uh, cat cut your tongue or what? Whatever, not worth the effort. Can't sit here while we have other stamps to win, you know. I'm not gonna try saying it. <laughs> I'm gonna screw it up. Oh, what is that? Some kind of like golem? Nope. Oh, yeah, it is. My undefeated stone golem. What are you gonna summon to face it? Okay, Penelope, just remain calm and re remember what Luna told you. It's your first time, so there's no pressure. It's normal if you can't summon anything. In Savernum. Oh, a frog. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my god. I did it. I summoned anything. <laughs> I summoned something. I created life. Yay. I'm a sorceress now. Did you see that, guys? Nice job, Penny. Better than my first attempt, I'm impressed. Oh, it's so cute. I'm gonna call him Kermit. Oh, Kermit's gonna get squashed. Kermit. Come here, little Kermit. Oh, he dead. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> that was the easiest duel of my life. Oof, that was rough. Well, it's a frog. Don't be sad, Penny. No one's expecting us to win. You and I are both pretty much noobs. Becoming a model, going to college, trying out summoning. I'm a failure at everything. 
<laughs> you know, that's not true. And they killed my Kermit. His life may have been short, but it was jam-packed with adventure. The first duel concludes with Jade as the victor. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Now, the next duel is quite the anticipated one. On this side, we have the school's best conjurer at present. And he'll be facing the school's best conjurer from two years ago. Good luck. Luna, I've heard a lot about you. People say you are quite the loner who never spoke to anyone a total outcast. No offense, of course. I'm taken. But they also say you are the best conjurer the school has ever seen. That is, until I arrived. It's time to show everyone how much of a difference two years can make. Behold, witness the might of what a true dark wizard can do. Ooh, what's he gonna get? Ooh. My ultimate creation, the Pharaoh Mummy. Oh, an immortal being. You can try you can try to burn, drown, and decapitate him, but you will never succeed in killing him. A Pharaoh Mummy cannot die. He possesses the power of the ten Egyptian plagues. He's death incarnate. <laughs> you can surrender now, Luna. Keep, just keep the remains of that of your reputation intact. You shouldn't embarrass yourself. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Ooh, shiny eyes, so scary. Uh oh. What's she coming out? Ooh, a dude? Uh, what the fuck? Does that guy have a triangle for a head? I've never seen anything so ridiculous. Just, I have a feeling. Oh, yeah, I had a feeling. This is not going to go well for him. Cool hip, bro. Applaud the effort, Luna, but you still don't understand. Your gorilla can try what can try all he wants to cut down my pharaoh mummy, but it's no use. He's immortal. Time of judgment has come. The depths of hell demand your return. Uh Pardon? What is even going on? He's just getting deleted. <laughs> Uh, what? A triangle head. <laughs> what is even going on with this game? I've even bows to her. Thank you, Piri. Wow, what a finish. And the, the winner of the second duel is Luna. It all comes down to this. Melton, Orion, please come to the bridge to break the tie. Oh, what the fuck? What just happened? You got your ass handed to you. That's what happened. But, but, my pharaoh mummy. He's the pinnacle of conjuration. He can't be defeated. That's the pinnacle? Damn, maybe I need to start practicing another magic. Where did she send him to? Back to Egypt, I guess. Oh my god, that was amazing, Luna. Thanks! Piri is one of my most powerful summons. I can only call him once every ten days, but I thought it'd be worth it. Definitely. Once every ten... Damn. <laughs> what a restriction. Don't worry, Marvillo. I've got your back. I'll get us this stamp and wrap this up quickly. Behold, my merciless Cyclops. You have no chance against his wrath. Well, probably. <laughs> now, again, we're obviously something special. Because, like, the whole 100%, he's got these weird abilities. I'm expecting something good here. Alright, this is my moment to shine. I have not used... Well, I may not, might not have used a spell before, but I've been spending a lot of time practicing magic in general. And according to Dahlia, I catch on faster than most. Now, remember what Luna mentioned earlier. Focus on a specific point and concentrate on summoning a powerful being. Maybe a bear? No, a giant! The flaming sword, acid breath, and spiky horns. Huh, what is, what, what the hell is that purple shit on the floor? I think he even forgot to speak the incantation. Come on. Uh, oh, is that Calypso? What? Oh my God, is that Calypso? I didn't know Orion could summon her. Calypso, even, even the elven girl you told me about? The weapon? Yeah, she's so pretty. What the? Where in Tirnalam am I? Where, where is the lake? What is this magic? Um, hello? Huh? Oh, of course, I should have guessed. What have you done now? Nothing, I don't know what happened. I was trying to something, I was trying to summon something and then you appeared. You opened a portal? Why did you not contact me first? I wasn't messing with any portals. I just happened to summon you, I guess. Enough talk. Human form or not, your conjuration must face my mighty Cyclops. 
Where were you? Where else would I be? I was where you last left me, near that putrid inn. I'll have you know, this is no, that is no place for a princess. The perverted gawking of the farmers whenever they see me is despicable. If they were to try that within my realm, they would all have been sentenced to death. And, um, what are you wearing? I went to the lake to be alone. I was hoping some meditation could restore some of my memory. Makes sense. Man, I'm seeing the nip. I don't really see it, but okay. Man, I'm seeing the nipples of a princess. Tell you, the blessing can continue. Pretty sure that's called a cardinal sin in Calypso's world, though. It better be... <laughs> It'd be better if I didn't mention her robes are see-through. I don't have all day. Let's fight. Well, you can stay with us if you want. These are my friends, Penelope and Luna. Hi. Hello. More women. Exactly how many maidens are you in, <laughs> in your harem? What? <laughs> that's a good question. Yeah, tell us, Ryan. Just how many maidens are in your harem? Zero, all right? She's only referring to Nova and Alex. We were all playing together when we first met Calypso. <laughs> sure, sure. Oh my god, this has to be the most exquisite conjuration I've ever witnessed in Warhawks. How did you manage to invoke such a divine, angelic creature, Orion? Finally, someone who treats me with proper respect. My name is Ka Carrie. Her name is Carrie. She's my cousin. Tully loves the role play as an elf. Right, Carrie? Have you forgotten that everyone's trying to hunt you down for your powers? Hmm. Yeah, well... I like to see them try. An elf, you say? Well, well, well. My wife and I love to roleplay as elves on our sexy Sundays. We could always use another participant. Uh, I guess I spoke too soon about that proper respect. Anyway, I'm going to go back to that poor excuse of an inn. Do not dare sum me again, unless it's an urgent matter. I hate being interrupted. Lucky for you. I don't think I could repeat it if I tried. Now, speaking of urgent matters, we've put together a team to retrieve a very powerful item. If you were born at the inn, we'd be honored for you to join us. Since, la since last time you said you were willing to help. Hmm. We'll think about... Fight my Cyclops! Holy mother of... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Can you not see the princess is talking here, you filthy peasant? <laughs> um, deleted. I will think about it. My Cyclops. Okay, cool. <laughs> Bye! If... If I were to join you, where should we gather? Uh, either Alex or I will pick you up. Alright, if I do decide to join your little campaign, it will only be because I'm bored, not because you asked me to do it. Must be absolutely clear on that. Absolutely. Good, now think about it then. Farewell, Orion. Farewell. Hmm. So that, he has the ability to summon her. Interesting. Who the fuck are these people? How the hell do we just lose? We lost because you two are useless. I don't even know how I play. I don't even know why I played with you guys. He summoned a stupid, sexy elf who could speak like a real human. What kind of magic is that? Come on, let's try to get stamps and other subjects. We've wasted enough time here. Wow, what an unprecedented conclusion to an otherwise thrilling series of duels. Congratulations, guys! You won the final match, so the stamp is yours. Alright, yeah, stamp number three. A well-deserved victory. How many do you have now? Uh, this one makes it three total. Ah, they still have some work left to do. No one has claimed the prize yet, so you still have time. But you'll need to hurry. Yes, sir. Come on, girls. Let's go. We have a tournament to win. On my way. I'm starting to think we can win. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed that one. Oh, poor little froggy. Poor little Kermit got squashed, but, you know, that's fine. That interesting one that Luna called with, like, the triangle head. All right, so that one's done, that one's done. So we have Dark Arts and Divination. Let's do Dark Arts. Let's keep up the theme here. I always like Dark Arts. Much better than its counterpart. Defense against the Dark Arts, if you ask me. We're almost there. The church is up ahead. A church? Yeah, the Warthog server used to be the property of a cult before Professor Bumbledore bought it at an auction. <clears throat> this definitely looks like somewhere rituals take place. There are many cults in are there many cults in Eternum? Yeah, quite a few. Some are rather friendly, uh, and others not so much. I hope you don't cross paths with any of those not so friendly ones. Wow, this place is in rough condition. It was already like this when Professor Bumbledore bought the server. Cults and sects are not illegal in Turnum, as long as they don't break any general rules, of course. Apparently this one crossed the line though. The Praetorians ended up coming in and turning the place inside out. 
Professor B said it would be a fitting setting to, de to teach dark arts here, so he left it like this. Why, why does this place look so familiar to me? Familiar? Yeah, I don't know. It's like, I've seen this church somewhere before. Maybe in some illustration online, or an internum advertisement? Hmm, yeah, maybe. <clears throat> what happened? I can't see anything, guys. Lumina! Maybe we were being tested already. In Dark Arts, it took advantage of people's fear of the dark quite a lot. Whoa, that's awesome, Luna. I don't know why, but this light gives off a very comforting and serene vibe. It's one of the first spells I learned when I started playing Eternum. It has a level 2 requirement, but I could teach you whenever you reach it. That'd be awesome, thank you. For now, though, I'll create a couple more for us. They'll follow you wherever you go and illuminate some of the path in front of you. Great. Welcome, students. I'm Professor Abbott, and this is Dark Arts. I assume you've come to get my stamp for the Triwizard Tournament. Yes, sir. Then you're in luck. My challenge is an easy one. All you have to do is locate my clay jar, which is hidden within this church, and bring it back to me. A jar? Sounds simple enough. What's the catch? Nothing. Just a jar in exchange for my stamp. All right, cool. However, it's easy, but it's not too easy. You just said there was no cut. The church is crawling with boggles. Boggles? Boggle is a shape-shifting being that can be found in Eternum. They don't normally hurt people, though. They can they only want to scare them. They're often used to distract people from their objective. And I guess for us, that would mean the jar. But don't worry. They can be easily neutralized by reciting the spell... Impedinum. <laughs> Sounds easy. It is. Just be careful with them, as some are willing to turn into anything just to confuse you. And the more powerful they are, the more information they can retrieve from you. The stronger ones are even capable of taking the form of the observer's worst fears. That's not encouraging. You look like a well-prepared team. Well, the clock is ticking. Go get that jar. I'll be waiting here. I think our best option would be to split up. Good idea. Yeah, sure. Orion can take the left, and you can go right, Penelope. I'll go, I'll go behind the altar. Alright, good luck. Let's be back here in 15 minutes if we can't find the jar. Okay. A few minutes later. Hmm, where could this jar be? This place doesn't really have many items laying around, so it should be in plain sight. Didn't see, didn't see how big the jar was. This church is gigantic. It's completely silent. Man, I've got a bad feeling about this. Hmm, these stairs again? Damn it, I must be going around in circles. Ooh. The fuck? Oh shit, what the fuck is that? Is this one of those boggles that Luna mentioned? It certainly doesn't like another student. Um, hey buddy old pal, uh, have you seen a little jar laying around somewhere? Holy fuck. Forgot the jar, you need to find your jaw. <laughs> like a zombie. Oh fuck, get away from me. Oh, he, he's gone. Fuck. That son of a bitch was going to attack me. I thought Luna said they don't normally hurt people. Holy shit. Good shot, Orion. Luna, thanks. That thing is about to jump me. I saw these boggles can be some crazy little motherfuckers, eh? Yeah. So, I've been running around this area, but I haven't been able to find anything. Have you had any luck? Nah, I didn't find jack shit either. Okay. Um, are you alright, Luna? I don't think I've heard you swear before. <laughs> Guess I'm a little on edge myself, but now nah, I'm okay. Are you sure? You don't seem fine to me. The fuck you talking about, bro? <laughs> I'm fucking Luna. Can't you see numb nuts? Yeah, it's definitely not Luna. <laughs> definitely. Who talks like no? She does not talk like that. Holy shit! <laughs> God damn it! They can literally take the form of anyone. This is so fucked up. Shit! I think I'm. I think it's been over 15 minutes now. I should go back to our meeting point. Maybe the girls have found the jar already. This place is giving me the chills. I haven't found the jar or anyone at all, really. I should go back with Orion and Luna. Belpy! I was looking all over you. God damn it, Orion, you scared me. You're not gonna believe what I found. The jar? Nah, forget about that. It's something much better. I discovered a room where you can see the future. What? The future? Yeah, it blew my mind. I saw myself 10 years from now, and it was super cool. 
I still had a full head of hair, too. Go see for yourself. This room? Yeah, that's the one. Go on, get in. Uh-oh. Hmm, there's a woman in here. Where am Where am I? What is this place? Hello? This room looks familiar, but I can't... How on earth did I get here? Hello, miss. Can I help you? What? Oh, finally, somebody. I don't know where... Oh my god, it can't be possible. This is why... If this place is so familiar, I was here when I was 20. Are you participating in the Triwizard Tournament too? I can't believe I'm talking to my with my younger self. What? What do... Wait a second, what are you talking about? Don't you understand? I'm you, from the future. Oh my god, I must have traveled back in time somehow. What? There's no way. You can't be me. I mean, no offense, ma'am, but there's no way I'd look like that in the future. Oh, sweetheart. I remember when I used to think I'd always remain beautiful. But then I stopped exercising, taking care of my hair, maintaining my smooth skin, and getting rid of but getting rid of my body odor. Thank God, honey, the body odor is gonna get so much worse. Before I knew it, all my dreams were shattered. What? You gotta be kidding me. Didn't my modeling career work out? Modeling career? Who don't want to hire a pimple faced model with floppy tits? <laughs> Ouch. My tits are gonna sag? But that never happened to mom. Some are luckier than others, I guess. Now I just have my own pair of flapjacks. <laughs> I just have, and I have terrible back pain, too. If this is what 30 years old looks like, can you imagine how we're going to be at 40? You're only 30? You look 50. Yeah, when mom comes to visit, most people think she's my daughter. It's pretty embarrassing. But at least I may appreciate her company. She's the only one who ever visits. Only mom? Does that mean you live alone? What about a family? I want to get married and have children. Nope, didn't work out that way. But at least we have a cute cat named Nala. You know, it's better than nothing, I guess. How old is Nala? She's four. Well, she was four, until I accidentally sat on her while watching The Big Lebowski. Oh, come on. Nala's dead? If only I'd gone to college instead of pursuing a stupid career in modeling and playing a tournament all day. But, wait a second. What do, you, what, do you, what do you mean by if I had gone to college? I did go to college. I'm still at it right now. Yeah, I meant if my grades had been better. I wouldn't have had to drop out. So many years of playing a tournament finally took its toll. My grades are great. And today is essentially my first time playing a tournament. Ah, typical penny mixing up words. I mean, if you had, or if we had. What am I majoring in? Oh, God, it's been a while. I forgot. It was, um, photography? You're one of the monsters. No, I'm not. I'm you, Penelope. Nothing in the universe could ever force me into wearing that truly hideous looking skirt. Don't be in denial. It's just that I'm a bit dizzy and I don't remember. Impedium. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh my god, I disintegrated that thing. So cool. Penelope? What the fuck happened? Ryan, this place is just a trap. Our future selves aren't in here. They're only creatures Luna warned us about. Damn, really? I'm sorry, I didn't know. This place is so fucked up. Let's get out of here so we can get our stamp at one of the other subjects. Ryan, can I confess something to you? <laughs> Casting a spell for the first time has really turned me on. Oh, really? Um, yeah. It made me, so made me feel so powerful and in control. I always forget about Luna and the Stamps. And, and just for a little bit. And find... What? And try to find some place nice and private. I need to shove that dick inside of me so bad. I just wanted to pin you to the ground and ride the hell out of you. That sounds so fucking great. You're gonna fuck me, daddy. i fuck your brains out. Uh... 100 people we tried the other day. You remember when we... We're using the Chinese... Oh, yes, yes, clever girl. We're using the Chinese ball toys. How could I forget, baby? Ha! Nice try, Boggle. What? What are you doing, Penelope? Your looks are pretty convincing, but I'm afraid I caught you in a lie. Orion and I have never fucked. Would it be nice, right, Penelope? Uh, what? Don't change the subject! <laughs> and the real Orion always calls me Penny. <laughs> right in the face, too. Wow. The spell even leaves a tingling feel in my fingers. Hey, it's even more fun than I thought it would be. I should have listened to Dahlia months ago when she told me to try to turn him. Ah! What the fuck is that? <laughs> Getting pretty good at that. Hmm. Hey, I did it again. You go, girl. Huh, maybe I wasn't lying earlier when I said magic turns me on. I gotta find more monsters to zap. <laughs> She's definitely a magic caster. A few minutes later. <clears throat> This is definitely an interesting one. I think I enjoyed the conjuration more, but... Jesus, it's finally over. Ah, excellent, excellent! 
That is indeed my jar, an exact replica of one crafted by my great-grandfather, Dang Lin Wang. Yo, just earned yourself a stamp. Boop. Congratulations! Not many teams were able to complete my challenge today. The boggles can be very mischievous. Did you enjoy it, at least? Sure, it was very entertaining. It was super fun. Phew, thank God Luna managed to find that jar. I was completely lost. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, I won't keep you any longer. Good luck with the tournament. Thanks! All right, you have four st we already have four stamps, don't we? Yeah, we can claim the prize already. To be honest, it's a lot more fun than I thought it would be, so I don't mind exploring the castle. That sounds good too. You choose, Orion. Hmm. Yeah, do we claim it or do we go for that? Go for the divination. Hmm. I won't be surprised if we go for the extra one we lose out on the prize. Hmm. That's a tough one. Where are we in the episode already? We're at 26... Oh, I've, I'm recording for 26 minutes. Not probably how long the episode's going to be. Um, let's do it. Let's do divination. See what happens. How come the divination tower is outside the school walls? That actually used to be an old lookout tower. After it was decommissioned, Professor Owler chose it as her classroom location. <clears throat> Ah, I love the ocean breeze. I'd visit this place even without the school here. Professor Owler seems to be a smart woman. She chose the best location around. Oh, she definitely is, even if people don't usually take her seriously. She's just a little interesting, to say the least. You'll see. There's some kind of balcony overlooking the sea here. Ah! You scared me! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh my god, my apologies, I didn't hear you coming. How embarrassing. Forgive me. I just like sunbathing on this bel balcony when the weather is nice. And I'm not a fan of tan lines, so... Oh, don't worry, miss. We can't even see you from this angle. I'll go put some clothes on. Give me a second. Sure. What was that about? How could she see us? Does she have x-ray vision or something? It's not that. She... I'm ready. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, hello? <laughs> no problem. As I said, we couldn't see... What the fuck? Welcome, students. My name is Helga Euler, and this is Divination. You, you're invisible. Shh, not so loud. I'm trying to keep it a secret. Um, but, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. I'm only kidding. Yes, I'm invisible. Have you ever seen those invisibility potions you can get on certain servers? Well, when the f I first discovered them, I used to abuse them, like, all the time. It was a blast, I could do whatever I wanted, without any consequences. Until one day... I logged into Eternum and found I was somehow still invisible. I couldn't go back to normal. Oh shit, really? So are you doomed to being invisible forever now? Yes. Turns out, it's what's called chronic illness of Eternum. That must suck, I'm sorry. Well, to be honest, I kind of like it. Now I can go unnoticed whenever I want without spending a fortune on invisibility potions. But you're not invisible in the real world, are you? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. That would be quite the super superpower, you know. No, I'm not invisible in the real world. Actually, I can regain my normal appearance if I visit servers where magic is disabled. Ah, huh, that's good to hear. But magic-oriented servers happen to be my favorite. They're the ones I visit most often. And now I can't show off my physique after I've been working so hard at the gym. So much for rock and beach bod. Well, hey, thanks, thanks to that dress, I can still tell you have a nice figure. Aw, you're so sweet. Thank you, um... Orion. Yes, so there's Penelope next to her. Oh, I remember you. It's so good to see you, Luna. Thank you, Professor. You must be here to get my stamp for the Triwizard Tournament. Yes. Excellent. You're the second team to come by today. Really? Only the second? And here I thought we were way behind everyone else. Yeah, unfortunately, divination has never been a popular subject. Some people say it's inefficient and unreliable. But not anymore. I'm debuting a brand new technique. I'm looking for, I'm looking for someone to help me try it out. What if, instead of trying to see the future, we take a look at the past? That sounds exciting. No, that's the response I was hoping for. <clears throat> you see, I've been working on an artifact that will show the past of whoever stands next to it. The artifact has been in, sorry, imbued with a powerful spell to enable this. I've yet to see anyone in Eternum do something remotely close to this. So I believe I'm the first to do it. I call it Our's Reminiscence. So, what's the challenge? 
Well, you'll need to help me put this technique to the test. If you're willing to do that, I'll give you my stamp. So you want us to be your lab rats? <laughs> lab rats? Well, actually, yeah, kinda. But it's completely safe, trust me. Worst case scenario, the artifact has no effect on you. No harm, no foul. Come with me to the basement of the tower, I'll show you. It'll be the easiest stamp you'll earn during the entire tournament. Mm hmm. I know Professor Albert Orion. She can be trusted. Sounds very intriguing. I wouldn't mind giving it a try. All right, let's do it then. Great. Please follow me. Well, this doesn't take too long. This is the Reminiscence Combobulator. What? Well, I haven't exactly figured out a good name for it yet. The most, more, most important thing is that it works. This looks awesome. Doesn't it? How does it work? All goes to plan. Should be able to show a memory from one of you with total fidelity. It could be the best vacation you've ever taken, the memory you've had of your first kiss, or even a time when you witnessed a crime taking place. Oh, that sounds lovely. Well, the first two at least. I can see how the last example would be really valuable though. Right? Maybe Ulysses will hire me to work with the Praetorians. I've heard they pay so well. Now, I only need one volunteer to begin. Not me, please. I prefer not to dig into the past. Me, me, me. Please pick me. I can only pick one of you. Hmm. Oh, Penelope wants to go. Let her do it. <laughs> Why are you giving me that look? Okay, okay. Let's have let's have Penny give it overall. Yay! Thanks, Orion. So, what do we have to do? Not much. <laughs> I'm gonna say that every single time. And I will take care of everything. Don't worry. All you have to do is follow my instructions carefully and get rid of any distractions in your mind. Now, Penelope, keep your eyes closed and try to recall a memory from your past. The rest of us, we should close our eyes as well. Think of a happy time, or one filled with sadness, or even just a normal day. Anything will do. But whatever it is, try not to think of anything else. All right, close your eyes. Oops, sorry. Severnum infecto. Let your mind go blank. You can't see anything. You can't smell anything. You can't hear anything. Except for a distant, yet familiar noise. As you draw nearer to it, you start to feel... Ew. I don't want to eat this. I hate pineapple. It tastes like poop. That's the worst thing ever. I love pineapple. How can you say that? It tastes great. You're really saying that because you like everything. Well, duh. Anything mommy cooks tastes awesome. But this doesn't cook by her. It's just a fruit. And all fruit tastes terrible. What? Fruit is the best. I love fruit. And it helps you grow up to be strong. It's good for you. Mommy told me. Don't you want to be stronger? Yeah, but still, I don't like... I just don't like it. Do you want it? Your pineapple? You're giving it to me? Yeah. You don't like it, don't... You like it, don't you? Are you sure? You can't take it back later. I'm sure. Oh, yeah? Thank you, Orion. Whoa, there's still lots of left, too. You don't know what you're missing. If Nancy asks, I ate it all. Sure. More nutrients for me. Pineapple can help you see better, you know. They said the same thing about lentils. Because those have the good stuff, too. After eating all these healthy fruits, oh, healthy foods, I can see in the dark now. That's not true. Yes, it is. If you come to my room later, I'll show you. I'm practically like a cat. Right, sis? Yeah, sure, Delia. See? Told you so. If you eat all your fruits and vegetables, you get stronger and have better eyesight. Can we watch Frozen after dinner, Penny? Pretty please? I don't know, Dahlia. Ask Mom. I'm leaving now. Can't be late for the big dance. Especially when you're about to be voted Dance Queen. Oh man, if they vote Diego as Dance King? <laughs> that means they're gonna kissy kiss. Like, with their mouths. I hope so. That would make everything just so perfect. I see it now. We're gonna dance the night away until our feet won't let us anymore. Then he's gonna be a gentleman offer to walk me home. We'll share his umbrella, and he'll cuddle me tightly to keep me warm. When we finally reach my house, I'll say goodbye and turn for the door, and he'll spin me around and kiss me in the rain. <laughs> it's gonna be so romantic. Well, I gotta go. I need to stop by Charlie's to do my hair and get dressed up. I have to be perfect for tonight. I'm gonna let mom know I'm leaving. Make sure you put that bowl away once you're done eating. Don't break anything. Okay. <sighs> I need to get this job. This is the opportunity you've been waiting for, Nancy. All you gotta do is nail this job interview. If it goes badly, I don't know what I'm gonna do. 
This nanny gig just isn't enough to pay the bills. If between paying the girl's tuition and the mortgage, I'm not going to be able to hold out much longer. They'll take the house from me if I don't get some sort of extra income this month. I can only fend off the bank for so long. Ryan's father is already generously paying me more than he should for taking care of his son. Even if the, that extra money is only delaying the inevitable. If you were here, I don't know what you'd do, Mom. You always know what to do. I wish I had your strength. This is getting too much for me to bear alone. How on earth did you do it? What if I don't get this job either? What if I have to take the girls out of school and transfer them? What if I don't have enough money to... Mom? LP, are you crying? No, of course not, sweetie. I don't think I got cold or something. You know, with this damn weather. It's enough that it... Yeah, it's enough that it makes the day miserable. But it's always got to make you feel miserable too. <clears throat> we'll pass. Anyways, what is it, honey? Are you sure you're okay? Of course, don't worry. Did you want to ask me something? Not really. Just wanted to tell you I was leaving. I'm going to Charlie's. Oh, okay. Don't be over for too long, alright? Another friend lent me a dress for tonight. And Charlie's mom said she's gonna do my hair. For tonight? What's happening tonight? According to spring dance. It's tonight, remember? What? Since when? They set the date months ago, mom. Oh, honey. I, I must have forgotten all about it. Sweetie, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't think you can go tonight. I need you to stay and take care of Dahlia and Orion. What? What? You're kidding, right? I'm sorry, hon. I have an important job interview tomorrow, remember? The position here is here in Crenin, but the interview is being held out of town at their headquarters. I have to take a train in 40 minutes if I want to be there tomorrow morning. No! No, no, no! You can't do this to me! You know how important Crenin Spring Dance is. I, I know, honey. But I don't have anyone else I can call on such short notice to take care of Dahlia and Orion. They're too young to be left alone. I'm so sorry, I really am, but I'm afraid you have to stay home. You can't take this away from me. You went when you were my age. Everyone goes to the spring dance. If I miss it, I'm going to end up being, end up as a nobody. Come on, sweetie. Don't say that. You're so pretty, and you've got a good head on your shoulders. Your grades are great, too. You're going to be super popular regardless. Good grades don't mean shit for popularity. Wake up, Mom. I'm just going to be known as the fucking loser who missed credit in spring dance. Penelope, watch your mouth. I don't give a shit anymore. I'm going to this dance, if you like it or not. Said you're not going. End of discussion. This is the biggest night of my life. You can't do this to me. Enough. It's just the dance, Penelope. There will be more. If you don't have any, you ha do you have any idea how much I've sacrificed that you and Delia can never be left wanting? I'm not asking you s to stay so I can hit the bar with my friends and get drunk all night. This is for a job, a job that can save our family. You start acting your age, stop behaving like a like a child. Blech. Think about someone other than yourself for once. Yeah, well, you're not wrong. Mom? I'm sorry, honey. I didn't mean to shout at you. Just that mommy's been very stressed lately. Can you forgive me? Uh, of course. I love you, Penelope. I really do. I only want the best for you. Just don't grow up too fast, please. Okay. Go on, then. You have a dance to get ready for, right? Really? So I can go? Of course you can. I finally remember my spring dance. I wanted you to make your own, ice, your own nice memories, too. Thank you so much, Mom. And what about Dahlia and Orion? I'll stay and take care of them. Don't worry. It is a sign the job wasn't for me. I'm sure I'll find an even better one soon. I'm sure of it. You're like the smartest woman I know. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Now go to your friend's house and have fun. Don't stay out too late. Be careful with the boys. At your age, all the hormones start to make them crazy. Mom! Don't let them do anything you aren't comfortable with. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Thank goodness. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm ready for you to start yet a lessons yet. <laughs> Just be careful and have a wonderful night, all right? I love you, Penelope. Love you too, Mom. Come on now, get going. The start of the dance shouldn't be late. Yes. Where are you, girl? You should have been here by now. I'm on my way. I was talking with my mom. Whatever, just hurry up. Babe, I caught a glimpse of Diego trying to suit on earlier. He looks so hot. <laughs> I bet. <clears throat> Hello, this is Nancy Carter. Yes, this. Uh, this is in regard to my job interview scheduled for tomorrow morning. <clears throat> That's correct. For the position of stem research, no, stem cell research scientist, but Doctor Estrella, yes. I'm afraid I have to cancel the interview. I couldn't find anyone to watch my daughter tonight, so the next train doesn't leave until tomorrow at six, so I wouldn't be able to arrive on time. No, I don't have a car right now, but perhaps we could reschedule the meeting for. 
Yes, of course. I understand. Well, thank you anyways. I really appreciate you guys providing me the opportunity in the first place. And then there's Ola. He's just a normal snowman, but one day Elsa gave him life with her magic, and now he can talk. Oh god. He's super fun. Oh, poor Orion. <laughs> I feel so sad for this kid. Uh-huh. Huh? Well, what's wrong? Nothing. I'm just sad because in a couple weeks, my dad will be bringing me with him to Europe. And leave for how long? He doesn't know. Well, he could still come play with me after school, right? I mean, how far is Europe? I don't know. I think it's pretty far. Huh. Well, if you can't visit me anymore, then I'm going to visit you. In Europe? Anywhere. I'm going to be an explorer. An explorer? Yeah. Let me show my special explorer glasses. I know they're in here somewhere. Ha! <laughs> what are those? My explorer glasses. I just told you. I'm Daya, the explorer. <laughs> what you going to explore? The whole world. No, no. The whole universe. Me and my trusty magic sword will explore hundreds of worlds and distant new planets. Cool. Is that a magical sword? It is. I must defend myself from evil monsters of space. Space has monsters? A ton. They're ugly and scary. They even have big horns and sharp claws. But I'm not afraid of them. It's I'm Dahlia, the explorer. I am now regretting picking this one. It's so long. Uh, okay, okay. Dahlia, the explorer, finished her dinner? Of course. I have, be, I have to eat to be stronger. To fight against the monsters. <laughs> ah, yeah. I forgot you were like an adult already. I wish I eat healthy foods as much as you. Well, I liked healthy foods as much as you. Well, Mama says you need to eat vegetables to grow up big and strong. That's right. So you're going to be an explorer, huh? The best explorer in the galaxy. Wow. Can I come along too? We're going to need your protection, though, if these pesky monsters try to attack us. Absolutely. Don't worry, sis. I'll protect you, Orion, and Mom. You have nothing to fear. I'll defeat them all with my magic sword. Whoa, you have a magic sword? Yes. That is so awesome. Does it have a name? Stormblade, the destroyer of monsters. <laughs> wow, that's a catchy name. I like it. You know, since Dowdy the Explorer has been so well behaved, I think we're going to watch Frozen tonight. And if you aren't too sleepy afterwards, maybe we can read a few bedtime stories together. How's that sound? Yay, Frozen! Can you read me a story about the Princess Warrior? Of course, young lady. I love that one too. But I thought you were leaving. Nah, there was a change of plans. Mom has to leave for some important stuff. But I'm also going to stay here. No, oh, but I'm going to stay here to play with you instead. Hooray! But only if you two keep up the good behavior, all right? Or else I'm going to end up watching Frozen all by myself. As Orion finishes dinner? I did. I ate a pineapple this big. Wow, that's a big old pineapple. Yeah, it was huge. I ate every bit of it. Tell her how humongous it was, Dahlia. Oh, yes, it was very big. The most humongous, huge mungus one I've ever seen. Orion it all in one sitting. That's right, I gobbled it up so fast. <laughs> well, since you liked it so much, I'll give you some more for your movie snack. Um, okay, I might be too full though, you know. You think we can watch The Incredibles too? Hmm, okay. But only if you clean up this room first. There are toys everywhere. This place needs to be spotless. Yay! Quickly, quickly, pick up everything, Orion. What about Finding Nemo? Three movies? You're pushing your luck here, miss. Pretty please. Hmm, we'll see. Hey, Finding Nemo! But he gotta bathe first. Ah, well, okay, I'll do it for Dory. Come on, Orion, let's go to the bathroom. Me too. Oh, what's that weirdly? Nah, yeah, let's go. We're all gonna bathe together. But I'm not dirty. I can see the mud stains from here, mister. <laughs> that's a cute family. Definitely not like my house, that's for sure. <laughs> my brother always fighting. What? What happened? Where'd it go? I wanted to see more. The reminiscent compobulator has its limits. I still have to fine-tune it. And, well, you were all about to take a bath. I'm not sure how old you were in that memory, but... Huh? Hmm? Oh, yeah, of course. I forgot you were seeing that memory, too. Thank God we stopped there. That was incredible. It really was. I felt like I was there. This technique is unbelievable, Professor. Thank you. That's crazy because I don't remember that day at all. What made you choose that moment? I don't know. It just came to my mind. It was a fun day and, well, Mom got the job. We were able to keep the house and her lives got a lot better after that. I think I made the right decision. What about the dance? You missed it. Meh, it doesn't matter. From that day on, I stopped caring so much about being popular. 
started focusing on having quality friendships instead. So I guess that turned out good also. Still, I feel like I owe you a party now. Hmm. Well, you know, there's a costume party on campus in a couple weeks. I wasn't planning on going, but maybe if you tagged along with me, I'd change my mind. Oh, damn, that sounds awesome. Of course I'll go with you. Then make sure it's the most fun you've ever had at a party. <laughs> That's a bold move. But all right, now I'm actually looking forward to it. I'll start thinking about what I could wear. Ooh, I can ask Nova to come along too. Even though it's a college party, you're more than welcome to join too, Luna. Thank you, Penelope. I rest at home though, I'm not particularly fond of parties. I don't usually enjoy being around people, but thank you. Anytime, let me know if you change your mind. Okay guys, thank you so much for helping with the device. Penelope showed an astonishing ability to maintain concentration. You have earned my stamp. All right, we got five. Congrats. And actually, that's where I'm going to stop. I'm gonna... <laughs> it's already way too long this episode. So I'm going to stop you here. Uh, next episode, we'll go claim our prize and see what else this game has in store for us. Thank you so much for watching. Again, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It'll really, really help me out. Greatly appreciate it. Leave a comment below. Thank you all for watching.